Hey guys, how are we doing? So, as you see, finished myself uh, Excalibur and I finished my first hog. So let's show, let's see the Excalibur first. Uh, for now, just the brown, this was actually the only color I had uh, <laughs> large enough to do the shade for this. So we have a nice paddle. <laughs> it looks so majestic, it looks really big. You know, these I cannot position the rivet so close because the step from the, you know, on the spine is, is so big and plus you have to I have to make it nice and wide so it slides through. I did scratch up this one uh, while make, making the sheet, but that doesn't matter because I still am gonna use the crop out of it and uh, refinish it and it's gonna be mine anyway. So, But the sheet works fine, you know, it actually goes nice and easy in. I did have to go crazy. These big ones are, it's a challenge to make a uh, large sheet like this. You can see kind of like imprints from the inserts and tapes I have had inside. See that little imprint here of the little filler I had here for the recurve, but came out pretty nice. So this one has carbon fiber, like I said yesterday. Pretty cool carbon fiber handle, nicely contoured. You can see that I actually have. It's kind of like if you would connect two of my regular handles together, but instead of the front finger chawl here, you have you have kind of that last contour on the front handle. So when you up here, it's just like and you know my other knives, you have kind of like two curves here with kind of like a swell, but except this one I did, there is no swelling on the top, it's just nicely contour on the top. But so you have nice and comfortable handle here, you know, close to the balance, which balance is pretty much where, right here, so inch, inch and a half, yeah, about inch and a half from your index finger. So the knife actually feels very light in your hand when you hold it up front, especially when you go up close like this. You can actually unposition your finger if you desire to on this portion here. I might round it, a little, round it up a little more with like one inch wheel. I did a little bit to do kind of like a choke up finger choil. That way you can, you get really into very neutral position. So you can actually use the knife for a little whittling and stuff like that, you know. It's actually pretty comfortable, you know, to use it like that. Uh, it ended up being the, the secondary bevel is uh, right under 20 thousandths, so still nice and lean, nice and lean grind, really really sharp, scary sharp for such a big beast, it really is sharp, just push cutting new sprint, do like it, the final weight with the handle and everything is, uh, what was it, 34, 34, where's the, where's that scale? kind of forgot right this second it's exactly one kilogram exactly one kilogram which is 35 ounces 35 ounces so not that bad it does sound heavy but you know you have f over 14 inches of blade 0.28 thick stock, so you have really thick stock. So for bottling, it's gonna split with good. The grind is such a, such a thin grind that it will have really good penetration. So for you know, it's literally like 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 real like machete re, uh, recurve style machete on steroids. It's just really thick, but still you know still kicks a punch. Nice thing about this is that you can use it with the chopping, the technique that you use the. You chop with closer to the closer to the center of the mass, but also when you go up, you know, when you go back here, you can also use the technique where you really put the speed into it with the with the rotation, and you chop with this section here. And both techniques work really well. And we'll see, you know, once I try this outside. But you know, the previous Excaliburs, which were very similar, they they work well that way. So really happy with this how it came out. Feels good in the hand, nice, comfortable. That for now it's just smooth carbon fiber. I uh, not crazy polish. It's a little bit polished, but uh, probably I will probably bead blast it because I personally do love when the carbon fiber is bead blasted to give it a little bit of the texture. So I think it's gonna be really nice to put a little more. It's not like I would need the texture here because the way the handle is shaped and everything, I don't really need to rely on the abrasive texture, uh, retention. It's just by the retention of the shape. But uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool to have that, have that little extra grip there. So that's that's pretty big. I mean, I I am super happy about that, and uh, I'm also very happy about this. I did something else that I didn't even really plan. 
and it's uh, because of my buddy Chum. He he loves uh, he loves the duct tape stuff, and he puts duct tape on some of his knives that he made for himself. And I tried it in the past, and I kind of like it. I like the feel of it. I didn't like the, the texture because the duct tape is very very slippery. I didn't order that sport tape. I will try it in the future. But what I did is I shaped the handle. You can see on the hook with the duct duct tape on the bottom, and I put that that kind of like a cotton uh, sports tape. This is what you normally put on like a hockey sticks on top and that has actually added really nice grip to it I love how it feels, I did kind of like a figure 8 here so we have two boobs, one on the end where you want to go for really strong swings and one up here when you want to go a little, little more precise and everything and kind of tapers to here where it's just the tank the shit came out pretty cool I did on this one I think I, I always like come up with some kind of cool way to, to work with the hawks hawks because they are always tricky to do but what you have here right now I have it set up this is probably how I will carry it you know over my shoulder underneath my armpit just like I showed recently with the trunk I think that's the most convenient way to carry something like this and but it, you see that I did put two of these loops here so they can it can be mounted to a backpack or even uh, your belt with this uh, this one is tough one you know with the inside the waistband straps uh, it's wide so it really you cannot just put it on the side of your you know on your side it has to be in the back or on the backpack on your gear but the way it works so it has very simple but very very effective security not it doesn't really need it you can walk around jump around without the night without the hawk falling out but if you really want to make sure you just take this little paracord and you just send it through one of these you know and it will just stay there and that way you cannot re re retrieve it it just stayed, stays there but you just pull it out and it has really really quick you know access putting back just a little tricky but uh, you know as, you, as soon as you get used to it what you have to do just slide the spike in and slide the front in so the retrieval super quick super easy now imagine that it just hanging on your side I'll put it like that So you have it hanging like this, right on your side or on your back, and it's in your, it's in there. So it really is, really is a quick access, quick deployment, and putting in just like I said, just a little bit of habit to learn that angle, how to put it in, but it's ready. I like this a lot. It's. Uh, it looks like it is full convex like all around just because I finished it nice on the belts, the slack belt so it kind of like blended everything in but you have very very steep spike on one side which by the way even though that it's nice and sturdy look at that angles on that you see that even though it's nice and sturdy like that that was a catch it actually is sharp enough to slice paper if you get it right it's hard because it has that steep steep angle but you see it should be actually even shaving yep like nothing it actually shaves very easy and then the front edge look at the you know, the profile of it so we have really nice convex that comes to fine edge so you're gonna have really good penetration but also pretty good splitting power you know chipping power and uh, I played with it a little bit so far and I like it. I like the I like the the way it distributes the power, you know, when you put the swing into it. It actually does have pretty good penetration. I tried a piece of 2x3 I have here. So so far it feels good. I like how this absorbs the shocks, that uh, the duct tape. It's actually, you know, it's probably even better than the than the horse stall mat because it, it really, you know, imagine you have the tape just randomly taped around itself so it has kind of like a pocket so it really really like uh, cushions your hand really and I like it and that top tape actually gives you that good feel to it you know like you hold fabric which is very tactile I would say uh, I like this a lot uh, well, I know I will try the regular handles what, was, what it was intended to to begin with but I gotta say that this this way it works perfectly you don't have to I will never have to worry about this breaking and if I would decide to replace it you know it's it's nothing it's a couple dollars to put a couple feet of new duct tape and this tape over it 
you know, take this off and put a new one in there. And uh, the the labor, it's a lot, lot less. So I don't, I can actually sell this pretty affordable for being a you know custom handmade, you no know, kind of handmade, you know, water jet, but handmade uh, tomahawk, which is pretty cool. Even with the shade, you know, once I now when I know how to make these sheets and we'll develop a system in it, I could actually, you know, if you look what the cost of custom, it's a little tricky to put it in. Huh. Okay, there you go. You know, if you look at the price of a lot of custom hawks like this, of this type, you're looking at quite a lot, really. But I could probably get this stuff done for like, I don't know, 250 maybe? Yeah, probably two, 250, yeah, probably $200, 250, which is I think actually a pretty good deal for for this tool, I think. I like, I really like it, and we'll see how it's gonna work. But uh, I'm quite happy. And of course the main edge is, you know, like knife sharp, it's ridiculously sharp. Like this push cuts phone book paper, like nothing insanely sharp so I like that too uh, and also the nice thing about this you have the choke up grip so you can actually use it to you know whittle wood and stuff like that which is always handy to have on the hatchet or hook that cutting performance you know the the grind is so nice that it's it's literally like almost like that Excalibur you know it's it's gonna cut well but it's it's strong enough to be a hatchet to be used and abused, especially that the tip will sh you know break stuff like crazy. And S seven should be really 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 tough for any kind of abuse. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.